So you know, the great thing about living in Japan and vlogging out loud is that even if you're talking about some weird-ass subject, um, nobody will care because they don't understand what I'm saying unless it's a foreigner. In today's vlog, I had no idea what to talk about, so I foolishly asked on Twitter, um, why should you give me a topic to talk about? And lo and behold, the first answer I got from Mr. Akito Tengan was talk about farts. <laughs> yeah, farts. Okay, so let's talk about farts as I walk home. Um, I do have beans in my bag because I bought natto, and that's very appropriate. So here we go. Um, well, let's make let's keep this all mature and serious, shall we? Farts are a natural thing. You know, your your body needs to process whatever you eat, and some of that digestion process ends up becoming gases and it has to go somewhere and you know it's 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 silly uh, when you're a kid someone poots and everyone laughs and if you're the one pooting then sometimes you're embarrassed but there's nothing to be embarrassed about because yeah farting is natural um, I seriously thought about like what kind of things I can talk about farts while I walk home and um, what kind of things? So, what kind of things can make you fart? I literally only thought of two things: beans and potatoes and Mexican food. Wait, that's three things. Um, there's one, I guess, trivia type of thing that I know about from reading manga is that you can actually control the smell of your fart according to what you eat. Um, apparently, it's true that if you eat, say, strawberries only for like several weeks you can make your farts smell sweet or something like that um, if you don't care how bad your fart smells and you can eat, you can eat whatever you want if you want your farts to be lethal then you can just eat a bunch of Mexican food because Mexican food has a lot of beans in it and cheese oh yeah probably cheese is also another uh, fart inducing ingredient I guess um, another fun fact is I know how to say fart in three different languages I can't talk. Uh, one is of course fart in English. In Japan, in Japanese, fart is onara. And the third one I actually know is in Korean, which is, if I remember correctly, pangu. Which is, they're all kind of funny sounding actually, fart, pangu, onara. Um, so what are the techniques in order to control the sound of your fart? Well, I thought about it and it's kind of like playing an instrument, right? It depends on how much stress and force you put into it. So you can put a little bit of force and make it sound like a trumpet. Or you can go full out and try and make it sound like a trombone. Or you can you can be silent and deadly and make everyone wonder where that smell is coming from, I guess. I hate you, Akito Tenkan. Why did you make me do this? Well, I made myself do it, I guess, but... Oh god, this road is so long. I don't think I'm going to be able to talk about farts for this entire road. So, I'm going to stop here because I'm feeling very embarrassed already. Um, today was a rather busy day at work, and this this is actually gonna. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't vlog yesterday, so this is this is actually the vlog being taken on August 18th, even though it's for the 17th because yesterday I. I just completely forgot about vlogging. Oh my god, it's Veda and I forgot about vlogging. Well, sometimes you're just too busy and that sort of thing happens. Um, so, today I got out on time. Um, and tomorrow is actually tomorrow. This is the 18th, but it's. Okay, tomorrow, 19th, is my birthday. So, I might do a fun vlog. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? You'll see, I guess. Um, but probably the next beta will be something I take right after this because I'm making up for the number of videos 
because that's what you have to do when you're lazy and stuff. So anyways, I bought cake and dinner and stuff. And um, I also applied for a comic kit because, uh, I don't know, I, I, I haven't done it for... I just missed one comic kit now that I think about it. Uh, last winter, I didn't go. And the summer before, I actually got sick at comic kit which was not fun at all. I went there, set up, a couple hours in, I had this really, really bad headache, and oh, that was probably the worst comic experience ever. But um, this time, if I apply now, it'll be for next winter comic kit. And yeah, wish me luck, I guess. Um, what other thing? They actually bumped the prices for comic kit, and that really irritates me because it was already expensive to begin with. You have to pay 1,000 yen for the application package, for the physical package with the number. And then before it was plus 8,000 for the registration fee, which you get 7,500 yen back if you don't make it. Now that 8,000 yen is 9,100 yen. So you're paying a total of 10,100 yen to apply for a comic market. Um, and I don't know how much, if it's the same as before, it's minus 500 yen, so 8,600 yen will come back if I don't make it into Comic Kid. But of course, I want to make it into Comic Kid because that's why I'm applying. Um, last time I did like an anime Sonico type doujinshi, but since I've been very big into Final Fantasy 14, I think I'm gonna do that this time. And I'm home now, so I'm gonna finish this vlog and do whatever video I'm gonna do next, I guess. So, have a good night, guys. Bye.